So on a more positive note and going back into the world of video games in terms of video games themselves, um, I just wanted to have a quick talk about or a quick uh, discussion about Crowdbuster, which is a brand new game that's just been announced by NG Dev Team for the Neo Geo system. That's the MVS and the AES system. Um, and I want to talk about it because it's caused a little bit of controversy in regards to the fact that the game itself appears to be a knockoff or a ripoff of the Metal Slug games on the Neo Geo. Uh, if you don't know what Metal Slug is, Metal Slug is a run and gun game series for the Neo Geo uh, that really did keep the Neo Geo going. Um, it had amazing graphics for its time. They're still amazing today. They look really, really good for their age. And the game is just full of character and just full of charm. And not only that, it they play really, really well as well. They're not perfect, but damn near close. You know, you can have a lot of fun with it. And they're very easy to play. They're still very challenging games, but they are good fun. Uh, my favourites being Metal Slug 1, Metal Slug 3 and Metal Slug X. Uh, there's also 2, 4 and 5 for the Neo Geo. There are other Metal Slug games that came after the Neo Geo, but those are my favourites. 1, X and 3. Um, and yes, this new game, Krautbuster, um, is basically a knockoff of Metal Slug. It has the same spirit, the same sort of gameplay, the same sort of style, the same everything. Albeit with a few tweaks, differences. Uh, tweaks being that the jumping mechanics not quite the same as the Metal Slug ones. Uh, the jumping mechanics of the main character seems a little too smooth, and it seems to be that the main character, when you jump, rises and falls at the same speed uniformly in that you don't have the physical effect where your main character jumps up then stops temporarily then falls back down to the ground due to the effects of gravity your character seems to sort of like do a floaty arc of jumping in crowdbuster maybe they'll fix that who knows because the game's still in development i don't know but it, yeah the j the jumping controls looks a little floaty but serviceable but uh, a bit floaty um the other tweak being that i think with the gun that you use to cause carnage and mayhem and play the game with uh, you can shoot in all eight directions uh, eight uh, di yeah eight uh, directional pad directions you know up down left right and diagonals uh, unlike a metal slug where you can only shoot in front of you behind you up and down although I think one gun allows you to shoot in all eight directions I think uh, most of them don't but in this game it looks like all of them do which is good so they've tweaked that um, and graphically, it doesn't look as neat or as fine as a Metal Slug game. Graphically, the game, and this is Krautbuster, by the way, looks very early Neo Geo, sort of like the early games. It's a cross between the early games and the and the coming of age games. It doesn't look as pretty as, say, uh, The Last Blade 1 and 2, Garou, Mark of the Wolves, Samurai Showdown 5, Metal Slug even, as well as I've mentioned. It doesn't look as pretty as those games, but it looks nice. You know, it still looks appealing, but not quite as polished as those games. But that doesn't matter, you know. I mean, remember, they're developing a game for an old console. I don't know what kit they've got to do it and how easy it is to do it. And I'm sure it's quite expensive as well. So I'm going to cut them a little bit of slack on the graphical upfront. But it looks nice. It looks serviceable. Um, but yeah, it's causing a bit of controversy because people who like NG Dev Team and like Neo Geo, so just myself, uh, just think it's a bit of a lazy lazy game to make you know it doesn't seem like a very original title um uh, why have they made it you know and uh, it's causing some people to be disappointed at the very least about it you know saying i'm not interested in it it's not worth the money blah 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 blah, blah. um i just wanted to give my take on it really because i've got a youtube channel why not plus i like ng dev team and i like their games i've done a video on my channel so far where i unboxed and had a look at uh, a cartridge version of uh, last hope pink bullets which was the latest one of the latest games they released for the aes the neo geo aes that is uh, although the game itself is one of their earliest ones and they finally released it on the neo geo aes i got that um and they've also recently re uh, not re-released sorry but they've recently released a game called ratzion which was a horizontal shooter game space shooter game which looked amazing and sounded amazing i really wanted a copy of that but couldn't afford it sadly um that looked good 
Um, and yeah, overall, I love NG Dev Team. I love what they're doing. I love their work, and I want to collect all their games to the AES. Um, the games that I own for them, uh, own from them, even I should say, uh, I own Last Opening Bullets, as you may or may not know. I also own Gunlord and Neo XYX. Um, and I think personally, my favourite is Gunlord, which is also a run and gun game, but of a slightly more a futuristic one i really enjoyed that game gunlord was really good fun i, th- I thought that's one of their better games to date for the neo geo um yeah that's why i'm interested in crowdbuster because it's another run and gun game the other games that ng dev team have raised uh, have made for the neo geo they're all space shooters either horizontal or vertical they're all good they're not bad they're all good um but yeah it's nice to see them trying to do something a little different um but yes aside from the controversy that it looks like a clone or a ripoff of Metal Slug, um, I think it looks great. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having a clone or a ripoff of Metal Slug at all. If you know, if that's what they want to go with, or at least try, why not? You know, it's different and maybe that's what they intended. If that's what they intended, what's wrong with that? I, I would love to own a, a Metal Slug game for the Neo Geo AES, but unfortunately the Metal Slug games for the Neo Geo AES are very rare and they're very, very expensive for a complete cartridge the first game is one of the rarest games of the neo geo um, and if you can get a copy of the first game a legitimate copy um, and i tend to collect the english versions of the games because uh, the neo geo came out in japan and america and also in europe as well although in limited quantities um metal the metal slug games are some of the more rarer games on the system because they came very late in the system's lifespan um so not many copies were sold but they are also very good games so they're high in demand if i wanted to get an original copy of metal slug uh cartridge and box for the aes that is um i'd be looking at thousands and thousands of pounds um probably going up towards 10 grand maybe even 15 possibly for a legitimate copy depending on the market i guess if i was to be conservative i would say about at least seven or eight grand um for it And I'll know I'll never own one. I'll never have that kind of money. And I don't think anybody who has that copy of that game is ever going to sell it. Why would you? Um, But to own a game that's similar to Metal Slug, I would love to do. So, yeah, Krautbuster. Check it out. I'll put a trailer link in the video description below. Um, But, yeah, if you know Metal Slug, it's a Metal Slug clone. I think it looks fun. I think it looks good. It's pretty much captured the spirit of a Metal Slug game, which I think is important. It's got similar music. It's got a very German theme about it, as you may have guessed from Krautbuster. I mean, NG Dev Team are German after all. But looks good fun. Looks cheeky. Looks like a good attempt made by NG Dev Team to do a game like that. And yeah, I don't see why not. I think it looks fun. And uh, apart from the jumpy mechanics, I think mechanically it's sound. Um, and uh, yeah, can't wait to get it, if I can get a copy of it, which I might be able to, if I'm lucky. It depends when they release the pre-orders for it. They've released the pre-orders for the MVS version. I'm not interested in the MVS, but the AES version, he said, is coming out in a few months. I think I'll grab a copy of it, if I can afford it. I might have some money coming up soon where it might allow me to do that, but we'll see. Uh, but yes, well done, NG Dev team, for coming out with this. Uh, it looks good. Just, you know, make the tweaks you need to make. hope you can make some improvements in terms of the jumping mechanics and... Maybe even tidy up the graphics a little bit, just a tiny bit, maybe. But, you know, if you can't, don't, don't worry about it. Um, but aside from that, yeah, looks really good fun. Can't wait to own it. Can't wait to play it, if I get a chance to. And I think you guys should check it out. But yeah, despite the fact that I do agree with some of the points that people have raised about it being a clone and being a bit disappointed with it, um, it hasn't put me off from getting it. I think it looks fun. I think it's going to be good. Check it out. Anyway, I'll see you later, guys. Hopefully see you in the next video.